Okay, this one's going to be on Clipper. I believe is the default clipboard manager on KDE. So, uh, let me explain this first. In Linux, they actually have two clipboards. So, the traditional one is, you know, when you um, highlight something and then control C to copy it and then control V to paste it. Uh, something like this. Let's say if I copy this thing here and I hit control C and then control V to paste it, right? So that exists on just about every operating system. Uh, the other way is highlight it. So if you say I want to highlight this uh, text here. And in Linux, you can actually do is, um, let me uh, go in here. So all you do is highlight it and then middle click to paste it. So those are the two clipboards, all right? Usually you cannot mix them, but with this uh, program, you can actually um, synchronize them too if you want, all right? Anyways, the basic goal of this program is to have, you know, a history of whatever you copy. So by default, you can actually just let me let me do some uh, words here or some strings here. We'll do that one. We'll do that one. The default behavior is that when you highlight something, it will actually be automatically, um, I guess, uh, saved into your history. So you see all the ones that we just copy. Well, not really copy, but we just highlight over them. It'll automatically go into your, um, you know, your clipboard here. Uh, so, other stuff you can do in here is you can configure it. You configure clipboard, um, or I mean clipper. And in here, the if you want to ignore the selection, you know how we highlight uh, the text here, and it'll automatically go into our clipboard. If you don't want that to happen, then you just uh, select this one and it will ignore it. This other one is the synchronization. Now, like I said before, we have two clipboards, all right? And one of them, you can only highlight and uh, middle click to paste it, right? When you synchronize it, you can actually use Control V. So let me copy this here. Oh, let me apply it here. So now when you highlight it, you can actually use um, Control V to paste it, so you don't have to use the middle mouse uh, button to paste it if you don't want to. You can actually hit Control V, and it'll paste it. So that's the synchronization part. But I like the default anyways, right? Down here, you can increase your history size. So by default, it's 10, but you know you can increase it as much as or as little as you like, right? Um, yeah, that's about it. In the actions here, I don't think I'll be covering it for this video, but what you can do in here is actually write your own scripts and commands and stuff like that. Uh, some of the stuff you can do in here is like paste it to paste bin if you know if something is a uh, or if you have like an error log or whatever, then you can actually do a big uh, paste bin. Uh, other stuff is like searches and stuff which I'll cover probably next time when I make a video on this and in the shortcuts this is basically um, some of the hotkeys you can do and let's say if you use the actions but we don't have any actions you can actually invoke it with the hotkey um, so that's what you can do in here uh, other stuff is like let's say you copy an address or telephone number or a link or whatever or even a text right what you can do is actually generate a barcode so you know you bust out your phone and it'll be in your phone when you capture it using like uh, a barcode reader or was that google goggles whatever it is you use right uh, so that's what you can do generate a barcode like that super easy um yeah that's I think that's about it. The, the other ones that um this one is kind of stupid. You know how you have like your hotkeys in inside here or I mean your shortcuts inside here. This thing you actually have to know um you know in, in order for you to use but this other one uh they don't actually tell you but if you right click on your um was it your system settings here or your system tray settings you can actually uh, set a hotkey for that 
So let me give you an example. You go to entries and right here where it says clipper, right? Well, you can actually hide it or auto hide or whatever it is, but you can actually assign a hotkey to it. The default is control alt V. So what you can do with that is whenever you need to pay something, you know, obviously you don't want to use your stupid mouse or some people do and they can click on it, but you can actually just use your high key, so control alt and v and then you can you know select it from here. Now when you select from here it's kinda stupid. Um if you ever use Percellite for GNOME, that thing is much better at it you know than this one here. Because when you want to select some of this, you know, you have to hit enter and then you have to hit escape. What the fuck, right? Usually you hit enter and then it'll just exit the menu, but it doesn't do that. And then you can paste it in here, right? No issues. So the thing is, you control out V, and then you select it from here. So let's say we select this one. You hit enter, and then you hit escape. Fucking stupid, but that's just how they do it. Um, well, the other things that you can do is control out V, and you can actually search for it. So let's say you search for, uh, let's say the netbook thing here. So just type in net. Right, and it'll just filter it out, and then you can select the one you want, hit enter, and then you hit escape, and hopefully you can paste it. There you go. So the thing that was better in here is that you actually have a uh, an option to filter some stuff out, you know, some strings out that you want. Um, but the the method that you selected with the enter and escape, that thing was stupid. Otherwise, it's pretty cool that you can search uh, your history. Okay, instead of wasting your stupid time like doing you know clicking on here or like moving up and down um, the filter option is pretty cool uh, I think that's a bit about it for this um, one here maybe next time I'll show you how to use the the actions um, and the, the one with the the was it the enter and escape thing I heard they're gonna fix that in the next release and uh, I think they're gonna add in like kinda like Purcell light where when you hit the menu It'll actually be on your cursor, not like on this little, you know, the 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 right side corner here. Uh, it'll actually be right on, uh, you know, your cursor. It pops up, so you don't have to look away and then go back and look away, you know. Anyways, we'll see if that comes out in the next release or not. But Clipper, uh, use it. Uh, you know, now that you know all the other features, um, that's it for this one.